Hey guys, welcome to another Poland Fakes video. Got a few more pictures to share with you. Uh, a lot of crap coming out of Poland. Here's some SS helmets and some, a really rare one on the far right. If that was legit, it will be uh, exceptionally rare SS helmet. Uh, they, they all have the same patina, they look the same, they probably smell the same. Uh, just beware of helmets that look like this. They are crap. Here's some uh, some paratrooper helmets. Um, look like they've been rolled around in pig feces. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it, but they're just uh, total crap. Oh man, these helmets. Uh, I tell you what, uh, a new collector would be easily fooled by these. Uh, they don't look too bad, but uh, they are fake and uh, meant to deceive, as well as these, uh, the SS green shell. I mean, that decal has not seen the light of day. It's perfect. No way that would be legit. Uh, some pickle hobs. Surely a new collector would uh, not realize these are not old and make a mistake. It may be a costly mistake, unfortunately. Uh, the goggles are <laughs> the goggles are laughable. There's a Luftwaffe paratrooper helmet. Uh, you know, exceptionally rare, very, very valuable. Uh, look inside these helmets at the liners. Uh, the the liner on the right is brand new. It's just been rubbed with some kind of oil to make it appear old. The one on the left has dirt and pig feces rubbed on it. And then there's a, a stamp inside that helmet. Just look how ridiculous the stamp is. Nowhere. It's solid black everywhere. It's not got any deterioration at all. Uh, here's a set of RAD silverware. Somebody has uh, acid or electro etched the uh, RAD and uh, a logo into the blade. And it, it looks pretty convincing, you know, to a new collector. Uh, they would probably buy it and uh, make a costly mistake. Uh, these watches, again, uh, they're just total crap. I mean, <laughs> it's just laughable, the quality of the watches that are coming out of Poland. I mean, you can spot those a mile away. Uh, these books, uh, this is puzzling. The two in the lower left appear to be real uh, and then the rest of them, of course, are fake. Maybe the two real ones were put in there just to give uh, the rest uh, credibility, so to speak. But uh, when you look and see inside these books, I mean, just look. It's ridiculous. Uh, there's no book, no soldier's book ever looked like that on the inside. Um, the uh, dues and the NSDAP stamps on the bottom two are, are fake. Uh, just ridiculous. And here's some more signs coming out of uh, Poland. Uh, anytime you see orange rust on a sign or anything, it's new rust, and uh, just beware. Be careful when you see orange rust. Uh, otherwise, uh, it would be hard to tell that these were not real to a novice collector. Here's a, uh, an eagle, and it's actually made pretty well. When you see the back of it, it has uh, some attaching screws. Uh, but what they they do is they put these ridiculous marks on the on the uh, edges of the eagle. Look at all those waffen amps. I mean, it's just it's just ridiculous. And then uh, the next photo that comes up, you'll see how crude the uh, engraving on the back there is. I mean, there's no German uh, maker going to have some crap like that coming out of his factory. He would he would be laughed out of business. And here's another uh, worker's book, uh, a sport cart, which I guess means a sports book. And it's got fake stamps, fake signatures, a fake uh, photo. Uh, the ink is just weird looking. More of the same printing the papers wrong just look at the you can tell the papers wrong i bet you it feels weird too now this next one this right here cracks me up it's uh uh coffee grinders <laughs> a 
with the uh, Imperial uh, logo and then the uh, the Waffen on the side of <laughs> oh man this shit just cracks me up and then uh, this is a massive horde of just a uh, typical kind of junk they're shooting out of Poland um, eagles busts of the Fuhrer and soldiers uh, SS items SS plaques Totenkopf plaques coffee grinders <laughs> belt buckles and uh, to the novice collector, some of this stuff probably would look pretty good. Uh, here's another group of crap. Just look at all the ridiculous looking pieces. The patina is uh, the same on all of them. It's obviously, they've been aged at the same time. Uh, on that one plaque, the Totenkopf plaque, look at the casting. See all the bubbles and the holes? casting uh, defects, that would never come out of a German shop. A German shop would never put out something that crappy. Uh, here's the mother load. The, uh, the huge <laughs> panzer skull in the middle uh, cracks me up. Uh, just some really, really high-end stuff there if it was real. Uh, it all looks the same, same patina. The, bra the, the brownish uh, bronze on top, which is not bronze, probably brass with a coating, but Anyway, guys, watch these videos, study real hard, especially you do, guys. Pay attention to the photos, study them hard, remember what they look like, remember what the patinas look like, and the next time you go to a show, maybe it'll save you some money and you won't take a big hit. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Muchacho out.